surface, man. I'm not going deep into the cellar of my mind and fixing the foundation of my soul. My soul is broken. Mm. And, but, you know, I knew I could fix it, but I was afraid to go back. I was afraid to face the demons of my life, you know, because you start lying. You want anybody knowing this shit about you. So, so you start lying about who you're not and start creating a person about who you want to be, but it's not who you are. So that's when I started realizing, man, I'm never going to get over the hurdle. I'm always going to live on a surface level until I go deep, deep into the sewer of my mind to figure out and face all of these different demons. That's hard. It's hard. We all like social media. We all like everybody to see us for who we want to be. That's why we post beautiful things about us. That's not, that's not going to fix you. So I realized that and that's when I started going back. So I was about, um, I was about 24 years old and I went from 175 to almost 300 pounds. And um, that's when I sat down on my couch and realized <laughs> we got to go back. Or the most important conversation is the one you have with yourself. You wake up with it, you walk around with it, you go to bed with it. Eventually, you act on it. Sometimes you act on it good, sometimes bad. You got to change the internal dialogue. That person in your head that's talking that shit to you until you change the internal dialogue in your head. Until you callous over the victim's mentality that the world is out to get you because of you are the only, you got to change that shit, man. Yeah, but you don't understand my life, David. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so that's the thing about it. And that's why I can talk about it. But yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. A lot of folks don't under. I get that mentality. I once had that mentality that no one understands what the fuck I'm going through. And if you keep that mentality, you're going to stay in the same exact spot that you're in that no one understands me. There's a whole, there's millions of people. Why do you think a book that I self-published, you know, is doing so well? With a story that's so fucked up. People are like, I'll never forget what I went to a publishing house. Like, who's gonna resonate with this story? No one's gonna buy this book. I'm like, are you not in the world? Are you not in society? You're never alone. Everybody's going through shit. So when people get this mentality of like, you don't understand me. You can throw a fucking rock to someone that can understand you if they're willing to break themselves down and stop hiding. Mm -hmm. A lot of people understand you, mm -hmm. but you gotta stop hiding. And that's why I tell people, a lot of people are going through shit, they just hide better than you did. That's all they did, they're just hiding better. That's through this, this journey that you're on and you're winning these victories along the way, this idea kind of comes, comes upon you, which is, this drive to be uncommon amongst the uncommon, right? You, you yes. mentioned a, mo a few moments earlier that you started distancing yourself even from the SEALs themselves. Like, okay, I've done this. I've distinguished myself amongst these guys. Like now, what's the next challenge? How can I push myself harder? Like who, who, you know, what are the other circumstances I can put myself in to be the hardest motherfucker on planet Earth, which was kind of the driving impulse right. underneath all of this, right? Right. So elaborate on that a little bit. So for me, that's why I wanted to become a Navy SEAL. I wanted people to push me outside of my comfort zone every day. You know, and I thought this was gonna be the absolute best platform.